I work as a security officer at the Denver Public Library and I also independently do a lot of street outreach mostly on the west side of town um, and um, obviously through both of those pursuits have come across um, people who you know choose to use uh, narcotics of all shapes and forms. Um, I have uh, responded to a number of overdose reversals um, and I'm a huge um, cheerleader for getting Narcans in the hands of more people and getting them educated about that because I love people and I love that they have breaths in their body even if I don't know them and I want to make sure that people are getting the um, rapid immediate treatment that they need um, at their worst moment. My supervisors at the public library um, from the security team have given us the okay where if something is really going down off-site and it is a life-threatening emergency, respond. Um, on this particular morning, me and a coworker um, exited the building to begin an exterior patrol. That's where we just do uh, welfare checks on people, make sure that people, if they're getting dehydrated, that we get them water, snacks, someone to talk to, something like that. And there is um, a woman uh, completely unconscious on the ground, maybe about, I, I want to say like could be 27 years old, Native American woman. Um, and I get down, we're checking for consciousness, um, pinpoint pupils. Uh, my coworker starts checking her pulse and he's looking at me and just shaking his head and he starts relaying to our dispatcher, we need paramedics, which I guess the outreach team member had already requested, which is so spot on. Um, so I uh, administer the first dose of Narcan in the left nostril, just because that's just how I always do it just like I put my shoes on in the morning, it's left, right. So we do that, I keep rubbing. Um, there's some foaming at the mouth that starts to happen. So I roll her into a recovery position as I'm doing the sternum rubs and I'm also doing some back blows and back rubs, just like pain stimulation. So do the second dose, by now it's probably it's been like 10 or 12 minutes of working on her. We finally see paramedics show up and they come and as they're showing up, I start seeing some light in her eyes. 